All right, what's up everybody? So I got this watercolor set. It's color shifting, iridescent paint by Chameleon. It does include a bonus paintbrush here, 13 piece set. It's got one paint palette with 12 watercolors and one paintbrush that is a 6.5. And the colors in it, it says paint features. The iridescent paint has pigment that shifts in color with different light and angle of viewing best used on a dark surface, but I'm gonna test it out on a white surface. Uh, colors include is pearl, bronze, copper, green, brass, gold, aqua, purple, gray, pink, champagne, and silver. So I haven't used these yet, so I wanna give you guys kind of like a initial reaction. So I will use the paintbrush that it came, comes with instead of the ones I use. So we're gonna test it out on the white watercolor paper. As you can see, it does shine. All right, get my brush wet. We'll first start out with the top one, top right. Try and get the paint to flow around, loosen it up. Try this out here. See the shimmer of it there, more white clear there. All right. So the next one I'll do is this color here. A lot of glitter floating around in my water cup. Try and get this paint to loosen up is not that easy. All right. Almost the same look. It's just not breaking down the watercolor that good. It's a little brighter, more pink. So now we'll go with the green. See how it looks. I would like to see what it looks like on like a black paper. So I may go out and get some black sometime and test it out on the darker surface. The green is actually mixing a lot better the more I use it. be something I would use over top of my original watercolor paintings to add more kind of like texture and flavor to the uh, paintings. I'm going to use this one here. It's more of a gold. Now the gold looks really good. Darker pigment to it. I like that one. All right, so we'll go to the other shade of gold that's got, looks like it's got a little bit more green mixed into it. We'll see how that looks on camera. It's not as, uh, it's more clear background to it. So, go like that. 
so far I still like that one the best. So I'm gonna go with the blue. Like I say, it's more see-through. So get that thing less wet to see how it looks. Next one I'll do is purple. See how that purple looks. It's a lot darker looking of a paint. I'm just trying to get that paint to break up and mix up good. That's the only problem I'm having right now is getting that paint to loosen up. So now that's doing a lot better. I might have should have like sprayed my palette first. All right, here's the purple. So you see the shine going across all these. Once I get done, I'll pick my paper up to show you a little bit more. All right, now this is, looks like it's the bronze, brown. This paint looks like it's mixing up really good in the palette. Still got the glitter effect to it. Not as strong as the other ones that don't seem like. All right, here's kind of like the rose gold look. Mix this thing up real good. Break up the paint. More of a brown look. It didn't come out as road goatee as I expected. Alright, now this one down here, bottom left, it's got a lot of blue and brown worked up in it. The paint looks like it's mixing really good on this one. So different paints is definitely mixing better. This is like a teal with some copper look to it. But when I put it on the paper, it's a really dark brown, kind of shocking. As you can see here, it looks more, well, turn that way, it's a lot of brown. Turn this way, it's a lot more blue. All right. So the bottom left, bottom right, kind of get a little pearl bluish pink tone, some gray. It looks like it's gonna paint more gray. This is probably going to be more of a clear type look. Yep, there's a clear, more of like a blue, gray. I like that color a lot there. All right top left it's gonna be hard to see but it's a pearl so this would be kind of neat going over top of adding on to your white skies or clouds or 
anything that's more of a lighter color white on your watercolor paintings. You can kind of see it, which you see here in the light, it's kind of hard to tell. That's what I expected. But it's just put a nice little glaze of uh, shimmer, sparkle, glitter on the paper. I'm gonna kind of sit and touch it on like this one, see how that does. So there's your paint tray there. You see how the colors just kind of shift and shine. Paintbrush wasn't bad. I mean, I'll use it on some of my stuff, but not really my go-to. Let me get this up closer and flip it around. You see the shine when I tilt it down, different angles. It does give it that little shine, that pink. But right there, shines really good. And I do like the top one, the brown and kind of yellow, green. That one there kind of got the little blue side. So it's pretty neat. And the top here, the purple does shine. So guys, drop me a comment. Let me know what you guys think of this chameleon watercolor, color shifting iridescent paint. Let me know what you guys think about it. And I uh, appreciate you guys watching the video. Uh, if you liked the video, hit that like button and let me know what you think. And as always, man, if you like the content you see here, hit that subscribe button. Go check out the other videos, artwork, time-lapse videos I do. And uh, let's keep growing this community here. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, as always, peace.